Helldivers 2 is really fun. Like, really, really, really fun. And I'm going to get into a few things in this video. But if you guys are interested in seeing some Helldivers 2 on this channel, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and get on some more Helldivers 2 content. So first of all, I just want to let you guys know that this game is booming, like, beyond expectation from anybody who could have ever, like, thought of, okay? So just a little bit of background here. The CEO, and this is confirmed by on Twitter, he's very active on Twitter. He's very open with all of this, so you can go and look this up for yourself as well, but I'll be blinking and putting posts and screenshots as well. But... He said that himself that they're only working with about a few and fluent few engineers or devs. He's even calling for employees. He's even stressing to people that, hey, don't buy this game right now because servers are at capacity and we just don't have the right equipment to, to maintain it right now. Servers, if you guys don't know if you're not keeping up with the gaming world in general, however, Helldivers 2 has actually surpassed GTA and other big games in concurrent viewers or concurrent active view or not viewers, concurrent active players playing the game. They are booming. And this is a game that only I believe had capacity for, for 100,000 people at uh, launch. And so I, I think that this is great for the gaming industry as a whole. I just wanted to get into that part. The gaming industry as a whole, this is monumental. This is historic that a $40 game was able to pull this off. And not only did the it breed success, but it ultimately, the success kind of like ultimately came out to be not a failure, but you know, in a way it was because the surfers, we can't get into a game. Now I, I can get into games fine. I've been getting into games and playing games, you know, pretty, pretty okay. If you're on PlayStation five, there's a way to do it quickly. You just go in through your friend's uh, lobby. You can just do it through the PlayStation menu and that surefire way gets through the, through the queue all the time. I don't know how it is on PC, but you know, they'll have to get a fix um, with that. There is a patch that has come out uh, fixing certain issues. I don't know if they have like, the server issues quite fixed yet, but I don't know if that's going to be fixed in a day. I believe that is going to be something that's going to take a few few weeks, maybe maybe a month, because this is okay. As I'm recording this right now or editing this video right now, an update and patch just went live about the AFK users. This actually is a great, 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 great patch. And so, like I said, what I'm about to say after this is still relevant, but I just wanted to stop this video and show you guys, you know, what actually happens. So when you get in and you like stay for too long it kicks you out and it gives you hey say hey you've been afk for too long you can also press any button to go back in and it lets you back in seamlessly I, so far i haven't had any queue problems because i think the afk situation is good but back to the video did not expect this and see ceo has expressed that a lot and so with that being said guys i am having so much fun even even with all that being said i just wanted to highlight the backstory of this game because that just makes this game so much more fun every time i get on this game now i'm just like yo even with all the thing that's going even with all the things that's going on with this game behind the scenes they're still pushing great content this game is just really unique in its own way i feel like and i feel like the way that people are really gravitating towards it is really it's it's it's, it's aesthetic like i can't even begin to tell you like the aliens, the worlds, the planets that these that you're on look really, really good. And for it to be locked at 1080p, I am shocked at how good it looks. Not only that, this is a co-op, shoot them up with your friends type of game. And I enjoy that a lot about it. I enjoy the old school vibes aspect just to get in with your friends and just kind of work together instead of working in a competitive uh environment and the fact that each action we do tailors to the story of the overall game is so cool because now it's like it's unpredictable it's like we we don't know what's going to happen we don't get it's not like getting into another game and you know the story you know there's going to be an ending you know there's going to be a beginning middle and middle and end we're making up the story as we go and even the devs have confirmed that like they are watching our actions to see what we're how we're gonna play this out how we're gonna beat these robots how we're gonna beat these bugs like how how each uh major you know mission is going to affect the overall 
outcome of the game and that's really cool like that's really cool to even just think about and so like as i've been playing this game my you know my I've been streaming on twitch you can follow me on twitch link in the bio or link in my description and you know it's been pretty good i haven't had a, you know been brewing up a little community there and it's really fun to play online it's fun to share clips and i'm actually posting more on like other socials about it and yeah it's it's gaining a lot of traction. It's, it's been gaining traction since it launched but it's it's there now guys like it's there i'm having a lot of fun with the game like i really am i don't know what else to say like I, this game if you just i'm posting gameplay i'm just leaving it up because i just i just have to showcase what this game studio did phenomenal job area arrowhead games and i give a review and i gave you guys an 8 out of 10 and i don't want you guys if this ever even get seen or even matters you know my review my opinion doesn't matter but you know just to give my review even though i give it eight out of ten my thing is like i feel like it's great because i feel like if you guys make a sequel i just want a story mode i just want a story that's all it was for me i just i was just a little i not upset okay let me not say upset i was just a little like mm, i just wanted them to add a story mode but i know that maybe their budget was a big it's a small studio i'm not putting that on them these guys did this this game is great like i don't know what to say i feel like 8 out of 10 is a great still in a great pocket it's you know two away from 10 so I'll call it what you want but like i said this is just i don't know this video was kind of more of a praise of it because i'm having a lot of fun with this game guys really am so again i, I appreciate you guys for listening to my little i guess you know talking points on this covering the concurrent viewership and all that stuff the patches and stuff going on the openness about the ceo the actual active player base like getting into the game and like sharing this experience with your friends like the ragdoll effects and like all types of stuff man it's, it's really bringing back real old school gaming vibe so again leave a like on this video subscribe if you're new and get us more hell divers 2 content peace